Hi, and welcome to Rooted Flowers. My name is Becky, and I'm going to get you jump started with corms today. So we're gonna be focusing on ranunculus and anemones. Let's dive in. First thing you'll want to do is pick out your container. We like to reuse our seed trays, and the four pack is the perfect size for your corms. It produces a really nice root ball for planting out into the garden. From the bottom to top, we have unsoaked corms, soaked, and then pre-sprouted corms where the roots are starting to fan out, ranunculus on the left and anemones on the right. Here I found my best loaf pan and soaked the corms for four to six hours before planting them into the soil medium. Then an all-purpose potting mix will do the trick. Fill your trays about halfway up and then you'll place the corms inside. The anemones are a bit forgiving and it doesn't really matter the orientation they go in, but the ranunculus have what look like almost spider or octopus tentacles that really should be pointed down into the soil. Just a slight nudge into the soil to set them in place. After soaking, corms will have about doubled in size. There's no special treatment or added chemicals into the water for soaking and they do fine. Once tucked in, cover with the rest of your potting soil and then level off the top as if you are baking with a cup of flour. Make sure not to overlook the corners or sides of your trays. Then we'll give our corms a deep watering, let the water soak through, and then we're going to bring them inside. To help retain the moisture and maintain a microenvironment, I like to put a covering on top of the corms. Whether it's a humidity dome or a saran wrap like seen here, either will do the trick. Once I see sprouts emerge, I remove it from the top of the trays. I love to place the trays on top of my seed rack because there's a little bit of bottom heat coming from the lights and I'll check on them every week. Once sprouting, I'll move them to an area of direct sunlight and plant out once the soil is workable in my garden. My goal is to have them blooming by May and if the weather's right, even earlier. And don't forget to subscribe now for more weekly growing updates.